action. What's up guys, Jake Salisman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And if you're watching this video, you probably saw my part one of the Gorilla Bow, and then my part two with 360 pound bench kit that comes with it. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you a little trick to get just a little bit more resistance. I mean, for most 360, that's gonna be plenty, but if you're really trying to load up in a safe manner, it'd be like doing negative sets, this trick will be good for you. So we got the Gorilla Bow out, let me get it banded up, and then I'll, I'll be back to you, stay tuned. All right guys, so a little trick I learned now I got all four bands on this here. These are four of the 90 pound short resistance bands. So I got, actually this is supposed to go on the bar itself for squatting, but what I do is I like to use this, this beam and then I can use that to manipulate the distance, thus increasing the resistance. So you can take and put that on there and then you could bench off of this. Now, I haven't tried this with all four bands. I tried it with two bands and it's heavy because you're, you're essentially hitting that, well, you're going past the band's load earlier. So you, it's more of the rep is that actually past the 90 pound resistance. So let me sneak in here. Okay, so as you can tell, I mean, that's pulling in hard right now. Now, like I said, I haven't tried this with the four bands. But just this extra distance is increasing the rep load. Well, I should say the weight load on your pecs. But still, your form's got to be key. So get all the way out. And I always put it right square in my shoulder blades. So when I pinch my shoulder blades back, I can feel that they're pinched. Could definitely use that, that squat cover to protect the bands for this. But you could use a tree. You could use whatever. But then you just pinch shoulder blades back. Impress. It's heavy. And you're hitting that mass load and pushing the bands to their full resistance and pass about halfway. So it's actually giving you a really good pump. But you got to keep your shoulders back so you're not pushing your chest or your shoulders into it. All right, so I'm going to do a couple more reps. Like I said, you want to make sure everything's in line. You don't want to be too high. You don't want to be too low. I go arms width. Shoulder blades back. Oh, that's heavy. All right, let me weasel on out of here. Okay, so... This little trick, I'm not saying to throw four of the 90 pound bands on. Go with what's good for you. Although one thing I have learned about using this through workouts is one benefit is, when you say a free weight bench press, Hawk and I have done this a thousand times. You know, you take, you take your max, then you go a plate above it, and then I'll spot for him, and I have him drop it down slow, to his chest it's a negative and then I help him get it up that's putting more load than you're used to on your pecs thus you know promoting a lot more strength gains this is a lot safer way of doing it because you're not going to drop a bar on you at least that can happens is it's going to pinch tight on you but I'll tell you that felt more like 385 405 somewhere in there and honestly you can manipulate the distance between it I like keeping my back to it like it would be on a bench press. And this is just a little trick I've learned to really get the most out of this until I can put, slam some plates on and bench press heavy. So this is a good way to get by. I'll tell you right now, that's, you can hear me, I'm out of breath right now. That That is heavy, that is a good workout. But this is just a quick tip on manipulating distance. You can do this on your lat poles, you could do it on Pretty much anything you can get a distance on it. So, but this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, which you most likely will be if you're seeing these videos, we upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're very religious on that. And we throw in random uploads throughout the week if we can. So we're very active on the channel. A lot of outdoors. And we're going to start implementing more workouts in it too because y'all are asking for it so we're going to get it to you but 
Like I said, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We got some pattern tests to film. Take her easy. <laughs>